you're being watched. The government has a secret system, a machine that spies on you every hour of every day. I know because I built it. I designed the machine to detect acts of terror, but it sees everything. Violent crimes involving ordinary people, people like you. Crimes the government considered irrelevant. They wouldn't act, so I decided I would. But I needed a partner, someone with the skills to intervene. Hunted by the authorities, we work in secret. You'll never find us. But victim or perpetrator, if your number's up, we'll find you. Pluto was in Aquarius. And Pluto's in Aquarius for 19 years. So whatever's going to happen, it's, it's going to happen. You just got to be prepared for it. And I got to... Now, I wanted to say something real quick. Like, you know, a lot of people, you hear a lot of people videos out here, you know what I'm saying? People saying, we must be prepared. We must be prepared for what's to come. We must be prepared for what's to come. But you got to understand, if you really, really been doing your homework and you really, really been studying about this world that we live in, then you know what's to come is something basically you really can't prepare for. You know what I'm saying? We could sit here, we could talk this crap. You can, you can buy ammo. You could buy some gats. You could stock up on food. You know what I'm saying? Water, you know, medical supplies. You know, you could read all the books of how to survive. And, you know what I'm saying? Apocalypse. You know, all that is all good. It's all good. I'm not dissing none of that. Do all that. I wish I could do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a situation where I can't. I don't have the refunds. You know what I'm saying? The finances to be able to live off grid and stock and pile and, and all that stuff. So, um, shout out to those that do. But my point is, what I'm saying is, it's still going to be hard to be able to prepare to, for what's to come. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about, you know, can you imagine being without heat in the cold? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that right there will eradicate thousands, if not millions of people. Right now, while I'm making this video, I can hear the gang stalkers right next door breathing on the walls. They don't have nothing to do with themselves. But see... This is what's wrong with the people. You know, everybody done sold out, you know what I'm saying, for the dollar. You know what I mean? And we got these people that's out here working for the state. You know what I'm saying? Just so they can have a Section 8 housing. You know what I'm saying? But they don't understand that, um, you know, they got a lot of blood on their hands. And they're going to reap that. They're going to they gonna get that back. So that's why when I see these gang stalkers, you know what I'm saying, I know what they're doing to us for us T.I.s. But at the same time, you also got to look at them and be like, damn. At least I ain't in their shoes, you know what I'm saying? Because you know they are in some hot shit, and this is and this and this is the reason why you know that they're in some hot shit because nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. Everybody's afraid, you know what I'm saying? So whenever, whenever you, whenever you and you around, you know, or you heard or, or you tweet to you tis, y'all know about the program. You know what's going on, but at the same time, you could talk to everybody. And people will still lie to you and gaslight you in your face and make it seem like they don't even know what you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? So that right there should let you know that they these bots are scared for their lives. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be. They gotta be scared for their lives. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just I mean, come on now. For for somebody, because number one, like I said, you're not getting that much. You're not getting that much money to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they might provide you with a, a caravan, a white caravan, and a crib. You know, maybe extra little little couple of them, couple of measly dollars and food stamps. But at the end of the day, you're not getting that much. You only getting you only getting basic stuff, basic necessities, just some toilet paper to wipe your nasty ass with. That's it. That's it. It's not like you know they're gonna put you on cloud nine and you're gonna be balling. You you you're you sold out to to things that you could have just worked for. You could have just got a job, two jobs, and you know got a crib and you know a car. But hey, you know this is where we at. We 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 dealing with a bunch of lazy folk, lazy people that don't want to use their mind, or maybe they can use their mind. Maybe their mind has been you know possessed by these parasites, and you know that they can't think. You know what I'm saying for themselves. You know, it's, it's documentaries out here that's that, that's called para, para, parasites rule the world. So, you know, if there is, you know, yeah, we 
you got you got to look at everything of what's going on. We we dealing with parasitic demons. We 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 dealing with um nanobots, nanotechnology, smart dust, chemtrails, all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff going on that we breathe every day and that we eat every day. So obviously, you know, these parasitics that's in the body has taken over the people. You know what I'm saying? So they don't know what they're doing, but at the same time, they know what they're doing. The body snatching has already happened, people. I, how many times do I got to stress this? You know, I'm I, I'm pretty. I sound like a break, broken record. I, I sing. You know, back in the day, they used to say you sound like a broken record. You know what I'm saying? You just repeating yourself over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? But yet, still, my words fall upon deaf ears. Nobody's listening. Nobody's paying attention. But everybody's gang stalking. <laughs> Nobody's listening. Nobody's paying attention, but everybody's gang stalking. How can you prepare for what's to come? You know what I'm saying? Even when you read Revelation, Revelation tell you there's going to be chaos and disaster. You know what I'm saying? The blood is going to be up to the horse's bridle and all this. You know what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean? You know, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it don't sound like it's going to be something pleasant. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It don't sound like it's gonna be something pleasant. So what what I'm saying is, how can you so how can you prepare for what's to come? Go watch the book of Eli. Go watch um Will Smith, I am legend. You know what I'm saying? You know, go watch They Live, go watch these movies. How how can you prepare? There's a whole bunch of zombie apocalypse movies out here. How can you prepare for what's to come? You cannot. People forget about mental health. You how how you gonna prepare your mind? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so what you got guns, so what you got food. If you see somebody's head get blown off right in front of you, then how you going to react to that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a plan until somebody get punched in the mouth, right? You know what I'm saying? So how you going to react to that? How you going to react to seeing um, somebody laying on the ground with half of their body missing? Like war is no joke, man. Why You, watch, you see these war movies all the time. You know what I'm saying? You never experienced nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You could be in a combat war, man, and your your leg get blown off. You're up there hollering, ah! You know what I'm saying? You you not you not prepared for that. So how do you prepare for that? We must prepare ourselves. We must prepare. How do we prepare? You cannot prepare for that. You cannot prepare. How do you? What, why do you think these these soldiers come home with P, um, post traumatic stress disorder and all this? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You cannot prepare for that. And the beast, the beast, the 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 the, the lumen suckers, you know what I'm saying? They they send these people over there to, to do their dirty work. And they know that they're gonna see some stuff over there overseas that, you know, it's gonna be hard to swallow. You cannot even bring that back to the real world. How you how you how you experience four to six years of blowing shit up to come back over here to work at Walmart? And you think that person ain't gonna have no PTSD, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. It's all a game. It's all a settle. They don't give a damn. They know you're going to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You can't go to Walmart and work after you've been shooting people for six years. And then you come home and they don't even help you. They just leave you in the rain. <laughs> they don't even give you no benefits. So, but this is the country that y'all still stand for. And this is the country that you still believe in. These people don't they don't take care of their own. You should you just you should already know. I shouldn't even have to explain this. This is like self explanatory in this dead time. All you gotta do is look around. But hey, we already know that, you know, people are blind in this dead time. Holla back, y'all. DB Gang Song Simulation, man. We out. The bots uh, yo, I could hear all the bots listening. They all tuned in to the best channel on YouTube, player player.